I see that higher education in the future will transform from a teaching university that do research into research university that teach. And that is a big shift. Health is a very important sector and we do have a lot of researchers working on this cutting-edge field. Uh, we could see from a number of news that we do have um, a researcher and startup working on COVID-19 vaccines and COVID-19 strip taste. The one thing that we try to adapt is that we try to bring the, some innovation that uh, help uh, in the detection of the people with the COVID-19 infection. Particularly we use because it's a rapid a diagnostic test by the we call it the Bayya testing that we can t t uh, detect uh, the one who have been infected with this kind of uh, organism within 15 minutes. Faculty of Engineering working on CU Robo COVID, um, which we are using an expertise that we have, which is an AI robotics and um, plus entrepreneurship. They come and work together in order to modify to uh, doing a few things with the robot and create the new things. Apart from sending, delivering, we adapt it to be able to conduct a tele, tele communication between patient and doctors. We do have CU Innovation Hub, which is a platform that help nurturing entrepreneur. Uh, you would like to have like a startups or you would like to do some things related to innovation, you can come to CU Innovation Hub. It's link and connect you to our related party that will help you to achieve your goal. We glue more than 6,000 students and alumni who has entrepreneurial skills and we have more than 10 student-led entrepreneurship club and we spin off more than 181 startups which uh, its valuation is more than 500 million US dollars. And all these startups that we gloom help improving lives of people, more than 1 million Thai citizens, uh, ranging and also distributing, impacting over 52 provinces in Thailand.